Um, so I do not see anything really to be alarmed about. Uh, we'll walk over here, make sure that the uh, outside unit's not being drowned out or anything like that, no leaks, no problems with wood rot or anything around the house. Uh, again, this is a high efficiency AC. Uh, for a tenant being here three years, they really have demonstrated some pride of ownership and treated the property pretty well. I mean, tenants are never going to be like homeowners. There are going to be some, some issues and so forth. Uh, how well you take care of these issues, communicate, systems that you have in place will make things go much better. Um, there's a little playground here. I believe that was here when, uh, they moved in again. I've got to go back to the reports that we've had. Uh, no one's memories up to par for three years. If we take a look at the roofs, uh, the roofs might be toward the end of their life expectancy. There are some granulars missing and, uh, faded shingles, but if they decided to sell or something, I mean, there's probably still two years of life or more left in there, but that would be probably a note that we would want to indicate with the amount of rain and everything that we're having. Uh, I just saw a lizard or something crawl into this building. Um, again, we might want to get this board fixed. That could be a hazard. Someone could step through there and get hurt, twist an ankle. Uh, you do always have to think of the liability factors of everything. And again, this is a very large yard. Um, I believe that the tenants also maintain the yard. That can be an issue. Uh, every tenant I've ever met used to be a landscaper, that, according to them, or their dad's a landscaper or something. Or if you have a pool, they know how to do pool. Um, that's not always the case. You need to be really selective if you are gonna let tenants do your yard and so forth of their ability and what your expectations are. This is a detached garage, which means it's not attached to the house. Um, one thing that I am seeing here, I did make mention of the roof. I do note a wet spot right there. We definitely will need to get that addressed and looked at that looks like that is something that's relatively new as well um again there's a sprinkler system we'll, we'll test all that there is some a few items that was left here uh typically that would get thrown away if the tenants did not take it when they moved out uh garage door appears to be intact and in good good condition And that kind of concludes everything. We'll look at the exterior of the garage, kind of walk around to the other side of the garage. Um, you know, look at the driveway, make sure there's no oil or auto fluids or anything unusual on the driveway. That's another area that I do find a lot of times uh, damages and stuff that you can't collect against have it pressure washed and so forth uh, i will say if they are going to if you are going to pressure wash the driveway don't just spray it you want to get a scrubber because uh, those oils and so forth are things that can damage it uh, this has siding so i don't see any issues with the siding uh, here is an issue right here uh, we are having a lot of rain Someone apparently has ran over the downspout. That definitely does need to be addressed or fixed. If you have water that starts backing up in your gutters, that can create a problem. Uh, I think the gutters probably need to be looked at as well. As you can tell right there at the edge, there seems to be a little bit of a problem. Um, you know, we'll get this post looked at if it was that way on the initial inspection or if it's something new. 
I don't know if you guys can see it, but there's a few dents there. Foyer looks good. Um, the flag, of course, we'll have to work on that. And, you know, the shrubs and everything do seem to be in good condition. Uh, again, we'll, we'll compare the gates and everything um, with how it was when they moved in. So here's the front yard. Anyway, if you have any questions or have any properties in North Florida that you might want us to look at or help you with, feel free to give me a call. My name's David Cool. My direct cell is 904-338-4601. Our company name is Cool Realty. You can call our office as well. It's uh, 904-602-5555. If you want some other information, uh, obviously you're looking at our YouTube page, but our website has a lot of great information. And that is www.propertymanagerjacksonville. Everyone have a great day and look forward to our next time on video.